Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of uh, Beleriand. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing with our Pirates of Beleriand playthrough. I promised the last time that we're going to get going on the main storyline. Remember that one guy who wanted to visit that one island? All he needed was an upgraded ship. Well, Buckle up, Buttercup, because we do have a sad ship. Your ship is perfect for an expedition to Ferrath. Let's get going, mercenaries. Okay, Haunted Island. I like the sound of that. Oh, look at that. The... Uh, the little compass shows us exactly where we need to go. And down here is where we need uh, where we need to go. Interrogate uh, the guard ship or uh, get down here. I think we're going down there. So luckily for us, We got very um, precise wind measurements, and luckily for us as well, we have upgraded the ship because, boy, boy, riding with seven knots is an absolute pleasure. Okay, we're going to go all the way down there. In the meantime, the crew assembles and tells each other a couple of funny stories. That is where inappropriate Murphy typically shines. For the first parts, until he decides to tell the inappropriate stories. Then people are like, ah, shouldn't have listened to that guy. Inappropriate Murphy is the type of guy that will uh, tell a story where he once was um, a freebooter. Um, I think that is one of the captains. Very nice. Here we go. We are at uh, the location, and thanks to our ram, we finally can break through the rocks, and there is a landing spot for us. All right, let's go, boys. <clears throat> Mercenaries, it's time to go our separate ways. Thanks to you, I'm going to learn what became of my illustrious ancestor. It's hard to express all the emotions I'm feeling. But I can at least give. Hmm. What would you say to an even better reward? If you decided to stay with me a little longer. <laughs> Good. That's uh, reassuring. Not that I think this island is cursed. It's just, let's look for my ancestor's shipwreck. According to the scrolls I've managed to gather, it has to be on this island. All right, let's do a bit of a treasure hunt, shall we? I was about to ask, why would why would he uh, stay alone on this island and say, "All right, see you later"? How is he going to uh, get back? And what are these? Sirens. Okay, well, that's interesting. Okay, when you meet someone new, uh, let's see. They do have irritation. Every time this unit uses a skill, they lose 5% of their maximum health. Oh. That is nasty. Every time this unit deals damage to a target's health, they're healed by the same amount. 
Every time the unit engages, they apply fragility for one round. I could already see that you can capture the sirens and then really go to town with them. But we're not making use of uh, more e enemies. I really just want a normal playthrough with a small warband because <clears throat> if we were to take a bigger one that would potentially uh, make the combats way too long. One of the things that I enjoy with that small warband that we're having is it is very manageable. would be my one regret that I had with uh, the other playthrough. I think the warband was overall just a tiny bit too big. We go here. We do that. Let, let them come in. Uh, that's fine. I think in the meantime we're just going to eliminate uh, these guys here. Oh yeah, easy. Well, maybe not quite as easy, but there you go. Also here, let everybody become orderly and we're just going to support over here. You know what? Over here. Because this guy will likely move in and I would uh, love him to attack the tank and not someone else. Good, we move up here. Time to teach them a valuable lesson. Which mainly boils down to don't fuck around with us. I think they can be really nasty once they break your cover, your armor, rather. Nice hit. Couple of follow-up hits. Yep, Noodle Keeper begins to deal a lot of damage. good <clears throat> yeah once i think once uh, they get to your hit points it starts becoming a bit more rough so all of a sudden you deal with all of uh, the extra healing from their end good hit i like how he begins to I'll get more and more attacks, so if we're just having enough rounds that the fight is going, we're definitely going to 
uh, attack a lot of times. But for most of the combats, they are over in like two rounds, so really all we want to do is get some extra attacks and then <clears throat> next time use aggressive stance to unload all of the attacks. Given that they uh, that we know they are uh, trying to catch up uh, catch us without uh, armor, I need to be extra careful to keep armor. Mercenaries. It's the wreck of the Empress. My ancestor's ship. I'd recognize my need to get closer. I have to know what happened. Okay, wait. I'm sure there is a little trick here somewhere. Can you turn anything around? No. Why would they... They look settled in. Potentially if you have a bard or a lure, then you can lure them away. Well, I guess we have no such luxury. For us it is do or die. Let's kill them. Okay. Wow, yeah, well, that is... Wow, that is close. Say, if we were to move in here, can't hit all four, but here in the middle, that would be great if we could get in there. Okay, this guy is going to move, which opens these three. So I guess what we want to do is hit the siren. Basically uh, set them nicely up. This is a preparation to hit all three. We're sprinting over here. We have a trinket now on inappropriate uh, Murphy that allows us to support someone else uh, with only one uh, with only one person. So you can see he is supported, takes less damage. Perfect frontliner, if you ask me. Hmm. hmm. Unfortunately, we can't get through there, but this could be a good start. And I was about to say, I think we could hit this guy twice. Moves to here. Gets one down. Gets two down. He is technically already bleeding. Although those um, extra uh, bleed damage do not count as bleeding. As a reminder, this uh, skill here, if uh, the target is already bleeding, you're automatically critting and dealing even more damage. Good. That was an overall absolute massacre uh, turn. Can't prevent to take a couple of hits, can we? 
We killed most of them immediately. So, moving behind. Buy fragility and get that extra attack. Followed up by getting more attacks. Followed up by a kill. And that triggers galvanization. Which in return this here should crit. It's nice, nice, nice. And it comes back to I definitely need uh, to purchase more books um, so that everybody has uh, the support skills. Uh, we're leaving that as is, and I think we're leaving that as is as well. Good. Let's explore the ship. A battle worthy of Valerian Halios himself. If his spirit still haunts the archipelago, as they say, I'm sure he was watching with a smile. Now that we've got the place to ourselves, let's have a look around. Surely those sirens must have kept the ship's treasures. If we find them, we'll learn what glorious death Valerian met. I bet he had no uh, glorious death whatsoever. He was potentially just fleeing. Or there is a crazy story. Noodlekeeper is going to switch to Miner. Sandstone and salt. I noticed the distinct absence of anything to mine here. On the Council of the Scholar Arctalius, I made the way to the Tome of Beleriand Archipelagy. There I found the weapon of the ancients, used it in the battle to the Sea Serpent, and took it for myself, armed with a strange spear. Should be able to get rid of uh, the kingdom uh, of that monster. Unbelievable. It says here. The Prince Valerian Halios fought a sea serpent with a must find this weapon. It... Okay, well, if that is all that happens here, we at least know that there is a sea serpent involved and potentially a legendary weapon. A spear is not necessarily the choice of weapon that we're using for our group, but. You shouldn't be too discriminatory. A legendary weapon is a legendary weapon. Rural Keeper decides to become a scholar again and continues uh, there. Okay, let's heal our wounds and we're back in business. Can't be that difficult to find that weapon, can it? Break of the Emperor. We must find this weapon. Okay, are you telling me it's here? I'm just not finding... Oh. Wow, Balerian Spear. What does it do? Deals damage and applies destabilization for one round. If already engaged with an ally. That's a pretty sick weapon. So that's the weapon of the ancients that Balerian Halios wielded. Show it to me, would you? A short spear. 
That man was a truly extraordinary hero. I can't wait to exhibit these treasures in my manor. Too bad you had to destroy that fang. It was the only proof of the monsters it... Well, mercenaries, I think we found what we came for. Let's go back to my place to celebrate. My wife will be thrilled to see you. Oh, I see. So he... We... Okay, we could recruit him. Uh, but I don't feel like recruiting him. That man was a true well, mercenaries. I think we. It's now following your troop. Okay, don't tell me that he falls under the category of he's actually doing something. Civilian. And has no profession. Okay, cool. Let's check out the rest of the island real quick. I like the whole trope with the reptilians. And I also like that it uh, wasn't ghosts like everybody, uh, everyone thought initially. And let's take our way back. Riding all the way on at the edge and are going here. Maybe we'll just do that to earn some extra cash. As always, we're a little bit strapped with cash. If you're not stealing, then you really need to see how you're making a living. Good, let's begin to break through. Oh no, that thing still exists. The serpent, it's the sea serpent, the creature my ancestor fought, the one who defeated. Run! Let's just get as far away as. No. We mustn't flee, mercenaries. We must warn dear Hecate of what we've seen here. We must be worthy of Valerian's legacy, protecting and serving the archipelago. Bring me back to Per Bass. Okay, curious to hear. If you can actually fight that sea serpent. So that's the very edge of the map. And look how fast we are. It's crazy. Okay, now he wants to be brought back to uh, Pervas. That's okay. We're uh, taking the Bandit Slayer and then we're going to take him down. That'll make for a nice difficult fight against the bandits with a couple of reinforcements and we're also scouting out the extent of the sea i like the idea of having pirates in this game the expansion does it super well without uh, overshadowing the other content uh, you get a couple new features like uh, the boarding mechanic and just the ship only skills that you didn't have before so say if you don't want to be a pirate then all of that is not necessary if you want to go down that route uh, then the skills are actually quite helpful So 
the whole wind mechanic is also not uh, bad. I mean, if you are, if you have upgraded your ship, I wasn't sure at the beginning how that would play out. But if you have really upgraded your ship, uh, it's becoming much faster than uh, than it originally was. Oh, and it seems that we're not alone. We're being ambushed by yet another captain. What a strange coincidence. Uh, Lord Runs uh, wants to fight us because we have overtaken him at the leaderboard. Let's go. Okay, well, my PC crashed and unfortunately, when reloading, the pirates were gone. That stinks. I wanted to fight them. Well, maybe we're uh, getting a chance. I know that he is uh, searching for us, so it can't be it can't be that difficult to actually fight him. Instead, we're going to uh, get how do we get there? We're going to get uh, these guys, and I think we need to anchor there or. Or we're anchoring here and somehow are not running into uh, into the goons. Good, off we go. We've been here once. This is the pirate camp. A three skull bandit layer. Oh boy, that's going to suck. I think for that, we're just going to fully repair up because oh, that's going to be a tough fight. Can we cook something? No, no, no. Uh, you sleep in the tent so that we're getting more Valor. And you do that the same. Good, we're starting with nine Valor. This fight is not going to be easy. In a perfect world, I should potentially attack these other goons first, uh, because that takes away some of the strength. Enemy reinforcements incoming, and we're rocking quite a few enemies. Well... It wouldn't be psyching if we are, wouldn't pick uh, impossible fights. Good. The idea here is to deal as much damage as humanly possible. In a short amount of time. to get hit by him.
Good. Hit and push him back. I hope that is going to be enough slowdown uh, to make that work. We should be supporting both of them. Yep, he can't reach us. That's the, that was the important bit. Alright, next up, everybody here gets orderly. We will need that throughout the time. And let's go for the archer. Yeah, we can't disengage, but that's not the worst thing that could happen to us. If we keep the archer in melee, even though we're burning, then that should be okay. I used all of my skills. Can't can't use any anymore. And that's really one of those battles where we need to be extra careful because I would assume Oh, three rounds of reinforcements. That's tough. Let's get this guy here. And we're just going to kill him afterwards. So. I see the fragility. Followed by. Bam, bam. A couple of extra hits. Getting Delirium up. We're good. this guy very very nice hit more damage and I think we're okay I mean we could do cutting maelstrom but that wouldn't be enough damage no we're fine These guys will reach us in like two rounds. We better have cleared everything and there will be reinforcements, mind you. These guys will hurt once they arrive at our location. As I mentioned, we do have reinforcements. hit points that's a kill I 
That's the second kill. Let's free up all of uh, these guys. Uh, that's hopefully a third kill very soon. Good. Couldn't have asked for more. That was actually a good turn. Position to here. End of turn. Next one is that guy. Let's get the archers. Nice hit. And prevent this guy from reaching us, even slowing him down there. Good, that's a waste of turn for him. We do have a problem on that flank. But it's only a problem if you're a negative Nancy. Oh, well, it is a problem. There are three down here. So I correct my statement. Even if you're not a negative Nancy, it's still a problem. And reach them. Can't tank here, so that's the closest or best alternative option that we do have. Unless we just want to move, and I don't think that that is a clever idea. Move to here, let's get fragility going on him. We got two delirium stacks. If we can just stack it long enough, we are going to deal a lot of damage. Good, we're now at four delirium. Should maybe switch, nah. <clears throat> the attack stance really just deals with the skull breaker and the pummeling. Hmm. But this here seems like a decent option for a multi-attack. They won't be able to reach us. These guys, however, will. Which means, how about... I'm moving to here. And are actually... Moving our flank. Or should we move up here altogether? Questions over questions. Point is, if we're leaving one flank, we're further moving over here, that might not be the worst idea. This guy will get a turn. This guy will get a turn. Let's just move over here. Start getting all of them stacked up here so that we can multi attack. Protection, engaged orderly, we already have deflection, so might as well weaken this guy. Almost uh, reached us almost. All of the others will be able to move.
We finish him, take him completely off of the initiative order. And then we're just getting these guys down. The other alternative is hit both of them with a multi-attack. This is not bad, and then we can move to the south. That'll give them bloodshed. That's a kill. And they will take damage next turn. We just simply maximize the damage that uh, we dealt. And let all of uh, these guys, with the exception of one downstairs, um, this one here, move without being able to engage anyone. I think we're just maybe going down here and trying to defend that. As an AoE attack, right? Yeah. Most archers do have that. That sucks, that was a hundred points of damage. that great new reinforcements are coming from up there try to hit him Than him. Not the worst idea. Only chance to take out both. This must must be a crit. No. Definitely taking damage off of the table. Is likely going to attack Gnome. Uh, you know what? Might as well. <laughs> Moving all the way over there. <clears throat> nice little bleeding. It's in from behind with burning, and unfortunately, unfortunately, we can't reach the spear to deal even more damage. Moves to here, and we're good. He hits his own comrades. 
that's a problem because now we're flanked and surrounded. As you can see, deals a lot of damage. Good. Disengaging. and keeping the flank here steady and stable and once we're at it we can him and of course ignite him this will hurt because they have so much fever fever We don't have enough. We don't have enough um, sustaining power here. We killed quite a bit, but I don't see this really working out very well. We got our asses beaten badly. All right. So, learn something, which is don't F around with them. And uh, we will now need to get new healing potions as well as go to the palace. We're going to do that in the next episode. Sometimes you are not ending on a high note. Thanks for watching anyways. If you enjoy the content, War Tales in particular, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know, should I, uh, should I have just played it safe, kill these guys and then attack them? Maybe. Uh, what's your opinion about that? Leave a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.